Hello. I wanted to take a minute to talk about a new feature added into our quality sample entry screen of Vicinity. The idea behind this uh, new feature or new area is to be able to allow you to see test results um, that you've previously entered while you're entering a new test result. So let's assume for a minute that I've got a fermentation log uh, that I'm drawing a sample and I may be sitting in primary fermentation recording this result. Um, uh, prior to this release, you would enter your result here and move on and not really have any visibility to what else was going on in, in this uh, fermentation. What we added is the ability to see all of the other tests that are related to that batch, so related in this case to this fermentation. So I've got a fermentation uh, sample that I'm recording and I want to see all of the other results or all the other tests that I've performed against that fermentation. I can use this grid control, it's just like vicinity view, where I can dra grab a field and bring it up into the grouping section. And now I'm able to see uh, the test results across samples. Uh, so we've given you uh, various fields here, you know, the sample number, of course the batch, here's the test, but also uh, the date and time in which that was submitted. So I can now get a, uh, in chronological order, uh, what's been happening on this specific batch or specific uh, uh, fermentation of, of over time. I also have some information like uh, who completed it and things like that. I also, we added the operation because we felt it was helpful to be able to divide that data if you wanted to by a stage of this batch. In this case, I've got multiple operations set up uh, for primary fermentation, and then I may have gone into lagering uh, to get results. Uh, the point here is that I've got total control to be able to group information. I have uh, also the ability to restrict or filter information as well. Uh, say if I only wanted to see a certain um, uh, QC test, uh, let's say for example, I only wanted to see my Play-Doh. I could also use my filtering here as well. And we also get into some custom filtering um, that you can do really kind of anything you want with as well. So um, anyway, uh, this tool then is available for you through quality sample entry. It's uh, all, it, all you need to do is be seeing this collapsible section. All right, so uh, we hope that helps. Uh, let us know if there's anything uh, that we missed or particularly any fields that you'd like to see here. Uh, we did work with a few clients uh, talking about what fields would be helpful to be able to be seen, but we basically have any data available to us in the uh, uh, QC test record set. So uh, let us know what we can do and if this has been helpful. Take care, talk to you soon.